This is how you can differentially locate the 1, 2, 3 or more than 4 hair follicular units in real time, using the Hearts Live Feed AI video camera. The graphs collected in the cold storage jar. These are the differentially harvested healthy grafts ready for implantation. Once the graphs are extracted with our hearts machine, they're taken over to a cooled solution where they're separated into one and two hair fibers and then the, what, the graphs with multiple hairs. And we design the hair line with the ones in order to give the most natural appearance. Uh, these are chilled in plasma light to prevent a large amount of ion shift. This way they don't get fat and chubby in the normal saline solution and uh, it's about as close to intracellular concentration as you're going to get short of something like hypothermosol. What do you think of the quality of the graft stock? These graphs, these graphs are, are wonderful quality. When they come out and they're intact top to bottom and you don't have to play the uh, percentage game with the upper third, upper two-thirds, lower two-thirds, you know you're going to have a solid graph. If it's handled properly, gotten back into a recipient site, you can guarantee yourself 90 to 93 percent regrowth rate on a solid graph like that. Hearts AI, the best in class automated hair transplant system. We have with us here Dr. Michael Visurik, one of the most renowned surgeons, hair restoration surgeons in Buffalo, and uh, he's having a tremendous busy practice in hair restoration, and he has a lot of uh, credibility and a lot many patients, happy patients under his belt. So uh, thank you, Dr. Michael Visurik, for speaking with us. Wow. So could you be able to please share your thoughts on uh, the Hearts Robotic Hair Transplant Machine, which I know you are using for a lot of uh, quite some time now? I'd be happy to. Thank you for your kind words. Um, the Hearts Transplant Machine, the Human Assisted Rapid Robotic Transplant System, uh, in my opinion, is one of the best made and designed uh, procedure instruments on the market today when it comes to hair restoration. Um, it was designed and developed by a hair restoration surgeon who understands that the extraction port is probably the number one uh, um, risk factor for transection and regrowth rate uh, percentages. So I use it exclusively in my practice. We train all of our uh, employees on, on only the hearts machines. Um, we get all of our consumables through hearts as well. Um, it is next level technology at this point. Now that the industry has made a transition from a strip procedure to an FUE dominated field, what will be next will be this new technology of artificial intelligent guided uh, extraction that will be the state of the industry. This is gonna be the standard of the industry in another five years, I'm sure of it. Um, it will separate the professional dedicated hair transplant surgeon from those that simply try to incorporate hair, transit, hair transplant or restoration into their pre-existing dermatology practices or ears, nose and throat or, or even uh, plastics clinics. Uh, if anybody in the future, in the next three to five years is serious about growing a hair restoration practice, 
they really need to at least consider looking at this equipment if they want to be taken seriously. Great. Thank you so much, Doctor. And I know that you are also using the new Hearts V10 with uh, the AR glasses. Uh, can you share your thoughts on that? I mean, I know that you've just started using it because mm -hmm. it's the new, very new machine, uh, but you've used it. Can you just share your thoughts on that? It is next level equipment. If you're going to keep up with science, if you're going to keep up with the industry of medicine, you need to go to the next level. Spark specifically, in this case, it's catching up with ophthalmology and with other forms of microsurgery. This is what this is, it's microsurgery. Um, and it is an invaluable tool that really brings to life um, the whole idea of angle and direction, not just extracting, but implanting as well. Uh, it's really lent credibility to the fine art of hair transplant and not the transient side specialty that many have come to believe inaccurately that it has been over the past 30 years. I know you've been training a lot of aspiring hair restoration surgeons all across the world. Uh, and I, I know that you are quite busy in training programs as well. Uh, we have your uh, training uh, literature over here, mm -hmm. which you do. So what do you suggest? Uh, would you recommend uh, the new aspiring hair restoration surgeons to start with uh, the heart's robotic hair transplant system? Um, you will get comfortable and you will desire to work on the equipment with which you train. Uh, with hearts, they have wonderful staff, support team, and in fact, training. We can train your uh, technicians, we can train your physicians, uh, we can train them one-on-one, -on -one, or we can train them in groups. Uh, we can train them in three to five days, and we're always available for ongoing education purposes. Um, I think it is important, well, that's an understatement. I think it is beyond important that you get familiar with the equipment that you use. Uh, very often in uh, other forms of general surgery or specialized surgery, they have technicians from all over the country that can fly in and be side by side. Uh, in this industry, there's only one, in my experience, that has been able to supply the kind of tech support that I need and the kind of education that I need on very sophisticated equipment immediately, and that would be the uh, uh, heart transplant system. I think moving forward, if someone were to seriously consider getting into the industry and they need to seriously consider and weigh out their options for equipment, the training aspect and support and consumables of these instruments has to be taken under consideration. Thank you very much, Dr. Michael. Uh, you have a wonderful setup here in Buffalo and I wish you all the best and I'm sure there'll be a lot of many happy patients uh, that we will see soon. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Sir. You're very Thank kind. you very much.